The year was 1904. The New York City subway had just opened. Construction had just begun on the Panama Canal. A US stamp cost two cents. The president was Teddy Roosevelt. They'd actually just started mass producing teddy bears named after that president. And 349 Montrose Avenue in South Orange, New Jersey was built. Welcome to this spectacular home. Let's take a walk through it together now. As you enter this magnificent home, you notice all of the incredible woodwork details from 1904 that have been preserved. You come into your gorgeous parlor room that's often used as a music room, but is wonderfully convenient for just hanging out, watching TV, or sitting by one of your many fireplaces. It opens then into the absolute show-stopping living room of this home. As we enter, you'll pass an opening big enough for a grand piano, as it turns out. And this glorious room features 120 year old beams along its ceiling. Glorious built-ins. Entire wall of glass bookcases. And then one of the largest, most dramatic fireplaces you're ever going to see. This wood burning fireplace is so beloved by the current sellers. They absolutely adore snuggling up next to this fire, roasting marshmallows, hanging out in their little corner bench and enjoying the winter nights. Now, fun fact, right through that window is an old out of order elevator shaft. Now off of the living room, you have some incredible additional spaces. The first through these fantastic French doors is your sunroom absolutely dripping in sunlight. This room is perfect for anyone who has a green thumb, loves an indoor plant, or perhaps would be more inclined to whip out a yoga mat and do some beautiful sun salutations right here in the sunroom. Or transition through these French doors and out onto your side porch. Now this, we haven't even seen the kitchen and dining room yet, but this is going to be your spring and summer additional, uh, just dream entertaining space. Not only can you sit out here and have plenty of space for dining, but enjoy a cup of coffee, a cup of tea, and overlook your front lawn, maybe take in a neighbor out walking a dog. In the dining room, we have beautiful wainscoting, wainscoting, tomato, tomato, <laughs> with a beautiful modern chandelier that's included in the sale of the home, and yet another of your fireplaces. We then transition into, first, your butler's pantry. Now, <laughs> this butler's pantry, with its own dedicated dishwasher, sink, glass cabinetry, feels original to the home, preserves that character, 
but is honestly nicer and bigger than a lot of New York City apartments. And there's your first floor powder room. But then we come into your beautifully renovated gourmet kitchen. This is a brand new refrigerator. And you've got high-end appliances throughout. Wall oven. Viking stove with pot filler. The joyful sound of neighbors on a trampoline. And this fantastic breakfast nook that opens to your exterior pass through it's like a mud room outside, but let me actually take you to your mud room. As you enter the house from your driveway through that back door, you'll actually come straight into this area where you have storage for all the backpacks, all the coats, all the scarves, all the bags, all the hats. Let's go up and see upstairs. Stunning leaded glass. First, we go into, well, let's, let's call it the kids' suite. This is the kids' own dedicated living room. On the second floor, this fantastic space has ample room for sectional couch, TV, and is just perfect for a kid's hangout. And it is um, flanked by three bedrooms. So the first bedroom, Ample space for queen-size bed. Fantastic closet space. And we go into the second bedroom. Again, fantastic space for a large bed, homework space, great closet space again. bedroom off of the second floor living room. Perfect for nursery, work from home, guest room, third kid, fourth kid. <laughs> and what's that right there? Oh, that's your second floor laundry right off of the kids suite. So no one ever has to carry their clothes down to the basement again. They get to stay right on the same floor where all the clothes live. Now transitioning back into this spectacular landing, we go into the primary suite. This room is massive. Inside this room, you have two closets. The sunlight pouring in is absolutely beautiful. Wakes you up just perfectly every morning.
and then you have your own primary bathroom with the double sinks, marble, and then spa-like huge shower stall. One of our favorite features is actually what appears to be another closet, but as it turns out, is the world's largest medicine cabinet. Now, going back out into the hallway, you have a fantastic linen closet tons of storage, and look at the beautifully preserved hardware from 1904. And we have this glorious guest room with floor to nearly ceiling windows that give it this beautiful Parisian French feel definitely has the scale of an old world home because of the extraordinary light. Renovated hall bathroom for guests and kids to enjoy. Absolutely be another bedroom if needed. This particular view is quite spectacular from the second floor down to the first. But now we get to go to the third floor through this little secret door. There are stairs that take you all the way back down to the back door. So you can either enter the third floor from the second floor or all the way from basically the driveway, giving it its own sense of privacy because of that dedicated entrance. The top of the stairs, some sweet built-ins, a beautifully renovated bathroom. This bedroom is perfect for guests or au pairs or long-term guests like family members who maybe need to, you know, move in and stay a while. Because of that private entrance, it really does give an opportunity for people to come and go and really um, it's just a beautiful additional space. Now, this room is kind of a gamer's paradise. It really gives you the opportunity for kids of all ages to have a good time tucked away up in the third floor playing games, sitting in the sweet window nooks. A true getaway. ample paved space for basketball, bike riding, whatever outdoor activities you might be in the mood for. This huge backyard has been fully fenced, so you've got total pet and kid containment. And 
you can see the slide behind the garage peeking out and teasing you with another area for play. But what I'm most excited about is showing you inside what just might be the greatest garage that's ever been for sale in all of South Orange, New Jersey. Yes, you're seeing this correctly. There's a pool table. There's a ping pong table. There's plenty of space for hanging out with friends, cracking open, open a Coca-Cola, playing a game of ping pong, doing some potting for your garden, or just basically having a good old time. I do think that this might become the most famous gar bar in all of Essex County with whoever buys this house next. Now, just to recap, this magnificent home was built in 1904, and we talked about some of the historical things that happened back then. But I think what's probably more important to you is to know that in the last decade or so, you saw that kitchen renovated, those bathrooms renovated. And in the last five years, there is a new whole house generator, a new boiler, a new water heater, new Bilco doors, the new fence around that backyard, the new refrigerator we saw in the kitchen, new chimney liner, new first floor gutters, new side stairs onto the front porch, new waterproof paint in the basement, and totally updated light fixtures throughout. So with 349 Montrose Avenue, you get the incredible history of owning a home from 1904, but with all the renovations and all of the touches of modernity that you are hoping for. So thank you so much for taking the time to walk through with me today. I would be thrilled to give you a private showing in person. Don't hesitate to reach out to myself or anyone at Pollock Properties Group. And we look forward to seeing you around town soon.